Hello again and welcome to the fifth and final part of our guide to fiberglassing a flat roof where we will be top coating our roof to finish it. Well this is our laminated roof as seen in the last video. It's now roughly just over an hour old which has given me time to have lunch and a cup of tea. I've checked the condition of the laminate and it's now hard enough to accept being walked upon for top coating or sanding if you spot any rough spots or sticky uppy bits. I always sand off any high spots as a matter of course before colouring, not because it's necessary but because I want the best possible finish without adding extra surface tissue and resin. Right, let's get started. Here I'm using a cordless corner sander equipped with 40 to 60 grade aluminium oxide grip paper. As you can see, I'm not trying to sand the laminate thoroughly, I'm just passing over the top of the roof lightly. This will either remove or highlight any slight raises in the laminate by turning them white. Now, because it's easier to see, I can choose whether to sand it further or not. Pay a little bit of extra attention to laminate overlaps or trim edges. It really is as easy as it looks and one or two people equipped with these sanders can pass over even a very large roof quite quickly if required. It really is a great little cordless sander and the sanding replacement sheets are very cheap. If you're interested in buying one, check out the tools link at the end of the video. Well, that's the sanding done, including trim faces and bandages. Now, just sweep away any dust. Once the roof is dust free, you could, if you wanted to, add another layer of laminate on top. This could be another layer of CSM or a fine surface tissue to create a really smooth finish. But this roof really doesn't need any of that, so I'm going to prepare it for the top coat. If we just move the camera underneath the side trims for a moment, you can see I've already slipped some masking tape under the bottom and onto the fascia. This means a lot less faffing around later on and I can work faster when cutting in in a moment. And obviously I've already done the same for the other side so it's now time to do a top coat mix. Now if you're new to fiberglassing I would recommend that you just knock up a very small top coat mix just for cutting in with the brush. Normally a small half litre mix will suffice and this is done in the same manner as in the previous videos. Again, if you need help with catalysts and top coat ratios, these can be found in the links at the end of the video or in the description bar. I'm sure you already know how to use a paintbrush, so to save time, I've already done the cutting in. Here I've done the bottom of the trims, the rear upstand and the two side corners and the bandage joint in the trim in the middle. I will also coat these again when I do the main roof deck as I've found that two coats of top coat help to hide the appearance of edges and the CSM matting. Right, it's now time to mix our top coat and it's the same as before, I've been keeping these cool in the shade all day and don't forget to wear suitable protection with full wrap around safety glasses. Here I'm using a standard dark grey top coat and the coverage rate will be about half a litre per square metre. Never mix more top coat than you can comfortably work with, so limit yourself to a maximum of two litres for your first mix until you get the hang of it. Here I'm doing a two litre mix with 40ml of Summer Catalyst, which makes this a 2% ratio mix, which is the minimum ratio for top coat. Mix thoroughly, not forgetting the bottom and the corners. I'm now going to top coat this roof with a small 100mm or 4 inch mini roller and this is just so that you can see it done and slow the process down a bit. If I were to use a large roller here it would be done so fast I wouldn't be able to cover any details. Thank you. 
and as you can see the small roller is great for getting into all the little nooks and crannies as well as the trims later on. Again, as in the last video, I'm using pour and roll technique rather than repeatedly enter the bucket with the roller. Both methods work fine, but if you're using pour and roll, check the quality of your colour at all times. Any signs of thickening, hardening or lumps, and it's time for a fresh mix. Don't skimp when applying top coat. Not only can it encourage pinholes in the finish, and exaggerate the look of the matting underneath but it will actually slow you down as you rework the top coat backwards and forwards. Not only is it additional weather protection but it's also vital UV protection from the effects of the sun. If you run out of top coat just do another mix. On a large roof I never remix into the same bucket. I find that a fresh mix into a nice cool bucket guarantees no chunks of old top coat potentially ruining the finish of my nice new roof. The Mini Roller provides a perfect, lightly stippled finish to all trim faces and will be far superior to a brush finish. And there we are, done. Now I'm just going to allow it to cure for 30 minutes or so while I have a cup of tea. Here's the front view of our new fiberglass roof and to be fair they always start off very glossy and shiny which will show off any imperfection. This will fade though to a much more aesthetic satin look after a day or two but in my opinion fiberglass roofs look their best after 6 to 12 months of weathering. Now I'll remove the masking tape and let's have a close up look at the bandage trim ends. and the joint bandage. Now if I put my camera down to the roof deck you can have a look at the top coat finish like this. Well there's only one thing to do now let's throw some water at it. The demo roof is now complete except for flashings and there are dedicated fiberglass flashings available to fit and these can be found on the trim section of my website. If however you fancy traditional lead flashings instead like the one seen here on a customer's roof, see the link at the end of the video. Well, that's this project done. You should now be able to create your own fiberglass roof like the one pictured. I hope this has been useful and thanks for watching.